everybody, it's your coach, Joe White from Get Life Coaching. And I wanted to jump on here and record this because I had a very interesting encounter over the weekend. So, I'm getting gas at Wawa. I go inside to buy a coffee. I'm in line, waiting to pay, and an old friend of mine comes in and gets in line behind me. And we start that little chit-chat, you know, the how you been, how's business, how's family, how's Emily, all that good stuff. We get done paying, we walk out, and we're about to go our separate ways. And all of a sudden, he goes, Joe, you got like five minutes. I think I need a little coaching. <laughs> I'm like, sure, man. What's going on? He goes, well, it's not for me. I'm like, that's good. And he goes, it's for my son. And I says, you in trouble? He goes, well, no, I mean, not like drugs and alcohol. But he's 22 years old. And he has no motivation in life. I said, well, have you done anything with him? He goes, yeah, I've set some goals. And I've tried to hold him accountable. But... Obviously, I'm not the right person to hold him accountable because we just kind of butt heads. And I watched your video once where you talk about this thing called the Costco buffet where you just dabble a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there, but, you know, you never really do anything. He goes, he does the Costco buffet all the time. <laughs> and he goes, you know, like, how, like what can I, how can I help him and give me some insight? And I said, well, is this the same reason why you came to me a few years ago? And we chuckle. He goes, yeah, I know, I know, but I, I, it's hard because he's my son. And I share with him that it is really one reason why we don't go after and get the things that we want. right? Because we all have set goals in life. We have all have dreams and visions of things that we want to do. The number one reason why we don't achieve it is because simply we just don't believe we can get it. So I know here, intellectually, we know we can. We'll say the right thing. It's my time, 2019, my year, right? We'll create a vision board. We will read inspirational quotes, hang them on the wall, buy a book, buy a new journal. All these things that seduces us and give us the illusion of real progress, but it's really not, right? We're in our hearts, we're afraid. It's fear versus pain, I told him. He goes, what do you mean? I said, well, we all have this fear of not getting it a rejection, of not being adequate, right, or being inadequate, of failing. And that fear is greater than the pain of being where we're at or the pain of not getting what we want or the pain, the future cast pain, of not having it when we want it in the future. Go, that's crazy. I said, yeah, we all battle that, right? Kind of familiar. I told you all this before. He said, well, how do I help my son? And... I said, it comes down to one thing. Sure, we got to align the mindset, right? We have the brain that says you can do it, but there's the feelings that are not congruent with the thought. I said, but the answer is always the same. It's massive, consistent, persistent action. But the problem is we don't feel like taking action when we're in that state. So... I think back to one of my favorite people is Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs was thrown out of Apple, started his own company, Next Computer, failed miserably, literally building computers that cost more money to build than they were selling them for. His friends, associates were laughing at him or abandoning him. He's in his his house. He has nothing there, furniture-wise, and he's depressed. If you put yourself in his situation, what do you do, right? What do you do? How do you mount that comeback when nothing in your body feels like it's the right time? It doesn't, you don't feel like like being creative. You don't feel like going outside the box. You don't feel like investing in you. Steve made a decision, actually two critical decisions. The first one is he purchased, I think it was for 10 or $20 million, depending on the version of the story you're reading, a little company called Pixar, long before it was Pixar as we know it, from George Lucas from Star Wars, who was in the middle of a, of a bloody divorce battle, and he had liquidated. And Steve used that to wiggle his way in to Disney, and eventually become Disney's like largest single stockholder. The second decision 
is he had to go into his failure and find the gold. The gold was the computers, which were beautiful, but just not applicable, had a really strong like a user interface software, right? iOS. And he knew there were a few companies looking to upgrade their operating system. One of them was Apple. And he used that to get himself back into Apple, right? back into running the company, and the rest is history. So we've all been in those moments. My friend's son, I've been there. I know you've been in there too. The thing that deflates us is our stories we tell ourselves of why we can't get it. We all have them. Come on, let's be honest. Right? It's the when I. Well, I'll do that when I, when I learn enough information. It's never, you're never going to know everything. When I become good enough, I'll start my own business. When I, you know, I have more time. Oh, Steve Jobs, he, he had $10 million. That's why he did. When I have more money, right, then I'll invest in myself, right? It's never the right time. We think it's like Moses in the Red Sea and everything's going to part. We're on this clear pathway full of certainty. That world doesn't exist. Most of the time, it's stepping out on the ledge and trusting there's a next step and figuring it out. And that's why it's massive, consistent, persistent action. That's the key. But it's hard. It's so hard to do it on your own because we fill ourselves, and unfortunately, we surround ourselves with people that don't always inspire us. They're either playing at the same level or they hold us back because they have their own crap. You know, I think of Colonel Sanders because, you know, my birthday passed. I'm 52 years old. Sometimes we get caught like, oh, I'm just too old now, right? And I certainly don't feel old. I got more energy today than I ever had before. I'm doing more things. My life is more filled today. But Colonel Sanders sold his restaurant at 65, retired, got his first Social Security check, and it was $105. He's free. He goes, oh my God, I can't survive on $105 a month. So again, just like Steve, Colonel Sanders had a choice point. Do I go left or do I go right? Again, like Steve, he looked at to what was his best resource. He had no money. All he had was a recipe for fried chicken that many people said was the best fried chicken they ever tasted. But he had no restaurant. So go back to the late 50s, early 60s. There, there is no franchise model. Today you can go to an expo and have 500 franchises chatting at you, trying to get you to join them. Back then it was, it was a really raw concept. And nobody would buy his recipe. He didn't want to sell it and get one paycheck because he figured, what if I live that paycheck? So he came up with this idea, and literally he would drive to restaurant after restaurant, sleep in his car in his white tux. He didn't have any money to eat, so what he figured out was, I'll talk to the business owners, and I would get them to test some of their chicken, see how good my chicken was. I get to eat that way. But nobody would do it. People offered to buy it from him. He goes, no, it's not for sale. I want five cents per piece of chicken. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Every piece of chicken that you use, that we use, and we sell with your recipe, you want five cents? He goes, yeah, for how long? He goes, forever. It's my recipe. Everyone laughed at him. You're a stupid old man. Get back in your car. But Colonel Sanders did not give up on the dream. So we found one person that said the magic word, yes. Yes. And there was the birth of Kentucky Fried Chicken. When he was 73 years old, he sold Kentucky Fried Chicken for $2 million. So if you adjusted with inflation, that was like $16 million. Not bad for eight years of work. Why? Because he took action.
didn't create by a story. He didn't say I'm too old. Right? Steve didn't say I failed too many times. All my friends left me. I was a superstar. Now I'm now I'm the clown of of the, the you know Silicon Valley. They focused on their gifts. And they invested in their dreams. They invested in themselves. You know, some of my best ideas come from things that don't work out or other people other people's challenges or problems that that that, that I can kind of reverse engineer. So the other day I get an email and it was like a referral program. I go, this is kind of cool. Maybe I should try this, you know, with us. So I submitted it, but I named me as the referrer and me as a client. I figure, you know, hey, give me the discount. I sent my money in. I was all excited until I get an email back from me the next morning saying, I'm sorry, Mr. White, but you are unable to refer yourself. I was like, what the heck, right? How stupid is that? And that gave me this idea. You know, this is our 20th year. Get Life Coaching, 20th year. And we've been having a lot of fun. And we call this our give back program because we want to say thank you as we continue to touch as many people's lives as humanly possible. You know, in a month or so, I'm going to Brazil to do an empowerment training. Brazil, right? How cool is that? Changing lives. A few months prior, I'm in Madrid changing. I, I still get emails from people who attended that thanking me about the changes that I created. So it's real simple. We are given anyone who you refer, who enrolls into one of our coaching programs, a $200 Visa gift card. It's that simple. All they have to do is sign up. And once they enroll, right, we can help change their lives. You set, We send you the gift card. But then I start thinking, I don't want to be like those yahoos that I, you know, I, I try to enroll myself because, you know, what if I want to refer me? Because it doesn't matter where you are in life, right? It doesn't matter if you're at the bottom and it must change today, if you're at the top and you want more, or maybe you're just in the middle like, I'm so sick and tired of settling in my life. It doesn't matter. So here's the cool thing. You can use the referral program for yourself. Now, if you're in an existing program and you want to renew, right, you can renew early and apply that to your renewal. If you used to coaching and you're looking like, hey, maybe this is a good time for me to get some more coaching, or maybe you have never coached and like this is this now this is this this is the, the opportune time and I get two hundred dollars off you can use it for yourself and you can refer as many people as you want you can use it for yourself and refer there's no limit to how many gift cards that you can get and you can apply those that amount to a seminar if you're already renewed so we've made it very very simple because ultimately, I get life coaching. You know, it's about impacting the people that we can, and we do that through our events, through our coaching, through things like this. And as we enter, as we you know, we, we we move forward into twenty years, we have a big vision. So there's a forum connected somewhere. Click on the forum, guys. Okay, take this opportunity right now. Click on the forum. Fill it out. If you know someone, please, right, just let them know we're reaching out to them. It's a great opportunity for them. We've had people split the commission with them, give it to them. What you do with it is up to you. But you can actually change your life. Or again, if it's you thinking to yourself, you know what, i got to make some changes. I've gotten stale. This is the opportunity. Click on the link and fill it out. And let's help align the head and the feelings, give you an action plan, hold your butt accountable. 
because a dad might not be the best coach for his son, but we and me will be the best coach for you to keep you accountable to. So find the form, click on it, fill it out, and I look forward to talking to you. So thank you for watching. This is Joe White from Get Life Coaching. Live free. Bye-bye.